Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So this time around, once again, we've got access to five amazing assets, free for this month only. Those being the Ultimate Ship Package 110 plus assets, the Immersive Template, the Museum Environment Kit, Venice, Fast Building, and Corals. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, starting with the Ultimate Ship Package 110 plus assets. So this is a prop package made in a PBR pipeline well suited for both AAA quality projects and projects with a focus on optimization and performance. So in total there are 179 meshes, those being props and environment. There are 564 textures, all of which are custom made and range between 1k to 4k. There's 234 materials with 34 base materials and 200 material instances. It also comes with a demo scene with setup lighting and an example layout for the environment and there's one in day and there's one in night, those being two separate demo scenes. You also get direct support from the dev, all of the meshes have collision and there are no LODs on these, however they can be automatically generated. So I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. Next up we have the immersive template. So this is a third person interaction template focused on immersion with objects in the world. So this includes that for objects it will use hand IK for left, right and both hands. You can dynamically pick up objects based upon their height and you can easily change the holding animation per object as well. For locations you can specify position or specific spots to place objects. When holding and in range the location will highlight the object's colour blue, red or gold based upon the conditions of being able to place it down. For interactions, there are actions that can be performed on held objects. There are also key cards to open doors, so you can get key card counter and automatic sliding doors checking for the player's card amount, so if they have the correct key card amount on them. There are also chairs, so there are three chairs included in the project. The first one has the character sit in and out of the chair from the front. The second will teleport the player in and out, and the third will play a smooth animation pulling the chair back and moving to sit into it. So you can really choose which one you want for your game. There is also a footstep system in this which will play particles and sounds based upon the animation name. So in total there are 65 animations. It includes a basic UI. There are example objects, meshes and sound effects. This is made entirely with blueprints and it works from 4.27 to the current version. There are seven blueprints and the input is default inputs which you can then copy over onto your character as well. One note on this is this does have multiplayer, however it is experimental so it might not work fully and you may need to tweak some things to get it to work how you want, but the basics is there, multiplayer is on it. Next up we have the Museum Environment Kit. So this is a set of assets that allows you to create realistic museums, galleries and other types of facilities. So this is suitable for presentations, films, games and custom level creations and also includes a demo level that represents the assets the best way. This pack contains modules, props, arch pieces, PBR materials and instances. So this features realistic quality, modular meshes, realistic demonstration level to showcase asset quality, material instances to further customization and museum props. In total there are 80 unique meshes all of which have custom or automatically generated collision. The vertex count ranges from 10 to 50,000 and they do have LODs. There are 74 materials and material instances with 132 textures, with the majority of those being 4K, but some are 2K. There are three blueprints and one sequence. So again, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. It's very, very high quality, and this is perfect for a museum scene, which you may want to make into your games or in a cinematic, in a film, whatever it is that you're doing, this will work perfectly. Now we have Venice Fast Building. This is a realistic environment of Venice made mostly with blueprints and blueprints for generating procedural buildings. So this features a procedural random building generation, blueprints for fast building your level, realistic gondola with blueprint based animation, high quality meshes, interior illusion and PBR materials. In total there are 247 unique meshes, all of which have collision and they do also have LODs where appropriate. There are 22 parent materials, 114 instances and 2 decals with 119 textures with those being 512, 1k, 2k and 4k. 
So this looks great as well. It is a procedurally generated environment based upon Venice. So if this is what you want, you want a Venice themed city, but also want it to be procedurally generated, this would work perfectly. And finally, last but not least, we have corals. So here you can find a lot of different corals for your environment. So there's not a lot to say on this one. It is very, very basic. It is just a lot of corals. So in total, there are 79 unique meshes, eight materials and material instances, and 25 textures, with those textures being 4K. Now, it does also say that it is scaled to the epic skeleton. I'm not too sure what that is referring to, because from what I can see, there are only corals in this. So I'm not sure why that would be scaled to the epic skeleton. However, you can obviously ask a question on that if you wanted to. However, I wouldn't worry about it. I think it's probably just an error. But with this, you get a lot of high quality corals. And like I say as well, there is a lot of them. So you can really populate your scene without it looking too repetitive or too crowded. You can make wide open spaced corals here with all of these different assets. Again, there are 79 different meshes of these corals. So with that, I think that'll be it for this video on covering the five free assets that we have free for this month only of August 2023. I think my favourite one this time around is probably either the Ultimate Ship Package or the Museum Environment Kit. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful with me just covering and showcasing these different assets here. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.